Hello everybody and welcome. In today's video we're talking about some brand new software that just came out today on One Photo Raw 2023. I think the software is pretty cool. A lot of AI technology that's coming in here. So if you guys like editing your photos with AI, you like really quick, easy, and seamless edits, this is probably the software for you. I'm gonna include a link down below where you guys can go to download this software. Please use this link if you guys are going to pick up the software. Uh, it gives me a really small kicker and doesn't cost you any anything. Uh, now I'm going to be completely honest with you guys in this review video. There is a few features that I don't really like and there is some that I do like. I'm going to be totally honest and straightforward with you guys. I'm not being sponsored or paid to make this video. Feel free to let me know if you guys have any questions about On One Photo Raw 2023 down in the comments down below. And I will be sure to answer them as quickly as possible because I know you guys are really anxious and eager to get your hands on this brand new software that was just released this morning. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump in there with five of my favorite brand new features coming in On One Photo Raw 2023. So the biggest new feature here in On One Photo Raw 2023 is what's called Super Select AI. Now what this does is it allows you to really quickly select certain parts of your image and it uses AI technology to figure out what you're trying to select. Sometimes it does a good job, other times it doesn't. Now this isn't for a good tool for people that want to spend hours and hours and hours fine tuning and editing their photo and making really precise adjustments. This is more of a tool for photographers that want quick and easy edits. They see something on their photo, they want to quickly select it, quickly change it, um, and it's definitely a huge step up if you're using Lightroom for uh, local adjustments. This is a huge step up, makes it a lot easier. Let's see how it works here. So first of all, you're going to be in the edit module here. If you've never used On One before, um, you want to grab your photo and come into edit here, and then you're going to go to what is called super over here. You're going to select that. Now we're in mode on paint in and just have apply adjustment. Don't select the adjustment yet. Um, so this is what your top box should look like. Now when you hover over the photo, you'll see that it is going to appear red, what we're going to select. Now the cool thing about the super select AI is it detects people individually. So if I had another person over here and I wanted to select this person here, uh, I would just be selecting this person by clicking on them and I'd have to click on the other person to select them. I'm gonna show you guys why that would be useful, but first let me just show you kind of how this tool works. So when you click on the photo, it's going to make a selection. So I'm gonna click on the top, now you can see my selection is blue. This means that it's selected. So now I can create an adjustment to affect just the sky. So once you have your area selected, I like to hover over the photo and right click, or I'm gonna control click here, and I'm gonna go to adjustment. Now you can use any of these adjustments down here. These are a lot of the effects and other things like that, but I actually just wanna to go to adjustment, and I simply just want to reduce the exposure of the sky. Now I could of course drop the highlights or do a wide variety of things, but by dropping the exposure, I can darken it up a little bit, so I am going to select that. Now you can see it's gonna appear over here on the right side of the photo. It's just going to reduce the exposure by minus one. Now I can create more adjustments. The cool thing about this is how easily it spits it over here into an adjustment layer on the local tab with just the sky. Now, of course, like I said, if I wanted to make more adjustments, I could make the sky darker. Um, you can do literally anything that you want, um, but, the really cool thing is that you can also adjust this mask. So let's say that it had made a pretty good selection but not perfect and I wanted to go through and refine it. I can go ahead and click on this mask here and I can go in and click view. Now I'm looking at the mask. This is the mask right here. And I can do a wide range of things. If I wanted to adjust it based on levels, I could if I wanted, you can see how I'm changing the mask. And remember that white reveals, black conceals. So anything that's white is being affected by my adjustment here. Um, you can also go, go in with the brush tool. You can see I've got paint in, so I can come on here. Um, oops, and I've got a white brush, so I need to paint down here. And I could paint in. So let's say that uh, I wanted these mountains to be included in that selection. I could just go through and paint those out. And you can do so many different things here. You can also go through, you could feather this adjustment if you wanted it to be a little bit softer. You can click view again to go back to the photo. And then of course, click on this circle here to toggle this. So you can see a lot of different things you can do here. This is also gonna be really nice if I wanna do something like brighten or darken my person standing here. Let's go back to super select AI here. Um, and we are going to select our person. Just click that just like that. And then we are going to right click 
or control click if you want. Um, go to adjustment and then maybe we will drop the blacks. I wanna really silhouette him here in this photo. I think that would look really cool. So I'm just gonna click that. It's gonna appear here, minus 20 on the blacks and I can continue to drag this down to wherever I see fit. You can see it's getting really dark. Now once I get here, if I decide I actually wanna reduce the exposure, I can do that as well. So tons of different things that you can do here. Um, it's really nice to be able to quickly and easily adjust from the local tab. And then last but not least, I wanna show you guys back on this Super Select AI. Um, let's say that you have something like this going on where it doesn't make a great selection. What I can do is click on one, click on another to add it, and then click again to add more. So you can see how I grabbed that whole foreground there just by clicking uh, multiple times. So a lot of times you might have to click multiple times to get all the spots. That's not a problem. This can work really, really well. So that's how you use the Super Select AI tool. I'll show you guys one more photo example really quickly here to kind of help you guys visualize when this tool would be really useful. So in this photo, I can use Super Select AI to really quickly grab the sky and make a couple adjustments. I'm gonna go ahead and click here on the sky. You see it makes a pretty good selection, a little bit of bleed over onto the cactus. Uh, I can fix that later, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but we're actually gonna go in and we're gonna right click. And this time I want to do a color balance adjustment. So I feel like the sky is like maybe a little bit too green. So I can roll over these and you can see as I roll over them, it shows me exactly what they're going to look like. So you can find the one that looks just right for your photo. And the Vivid Cool looks pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. It's gonna bring up the effect that it used, which was color balance, and then all of the settings that are adjusted here. So it's done a really nice job. I'll toggle that really quickly. Um, and super easy to use. Now, let's say I wanted to go in and do something similar to the rock here. So let's select the rock. We'll grab that, we'll grab this cactus here, and we'll grab all this. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So let's do the same thing, we'll right click, and we'll go in, this time maybe we wanna add a little bit of glow to the foreground. And we can hover over all of these just to find the one that feels right. And if you look and decide you don't like the glow, then go ahead and try something else. Try dynamic contrast. Um, you can literally try any of the effects here, which is really, really cool to have the ability to go in and just really quickly automatically preview all of these things. I think for the sake of this image, I'm just gonna go with normal on the glow here. And again, it's gonna appear just right here no problem. Again, you can go and click on the mask. You can adjust the mask right here. You can fine tune that however you want, but it's really, really nice to be able to preview those really quick uh, selections. You can see just how quickly these two adjustments really brought this image from unedited to edited really, really fast. So give this a try if you want some fast edits on your photos using AI technology. I do think that it is one of the better, if not the best AI technology on the market for editing your photos like this. It's a little bit better than a couple of the other ones that I've tried. Let's go ahead and look at the next tool here. So another one of the new features that is being added to On One Photo Raw 2023 is what they are calling Tack Sharp AI, which is basically a way that you can sharpen an image that's not sharp, whether it was motion blur or you just didn't get the shot right in camera, this is the way to do it. So um, now brand new in 2023, when you're in the Edit tab, Develop module, you can scroll down here to what's called Noise and Sharpening. Go ahead and click that to open it up. Now you have a few different options. You have Classic, No Noise AI, Tack Sharp AI, or both, which both combines No Noise and Tack Sharp. I wouldn't really ever recommend using Classic. It's not very, really that great of noise reduction, um, but the No Noise AI uh, does work pretty good. I've talked about that in a couple other YouTube videos, um, but the Tack Sharp AI is what's new, so I am going to select that. We will see how it works. So you're going to click that, and you can see it automatically zooms me in, and I want to zoom around here. I wanna to go to 200% just so that we can see this a little bit better. And it takes just a second to load, and it's actually pretty fast, you can see. So these are the settings that it has done straight out of the processor here. I didn't adjust any settings. So you can see it's pretty crunchy, I would say, a little, a little too noisy for my liking. But I can actually drop this down. So usually I've found that you want to drop this Tack Sharp AI D-Blur down. 
Um, and then you can bring the micro sharpening up a little bit if you want. And you can just kind of play around with this until you find something that works for you. Now, full disclaimer, I will say that I do think that Topaz has a little bit better uh, sharpening AI software than on one. And I've tried quite a few photos and I just can't quite get great results here in on one, but it does a pretty decent job. If you are using on one, this is a great option. It's definitely better than nothing, but I still think that it's probably not quite as good as Topaz. So that's kind of my thoughts on Tack Sharp AI. So in 2023, On One here has invested in improving their SkySwap technology. They have partnered with OcuDrone, uh, which has some skies and some other enhanced things about SkySwap. I'm going to show you guys how it works. So you've got a photo. You obviously need some sky in the photo here, uh, and then you just click sky, and it's going to bring up this dialog box that it is swapping the sky. Now, this takes a second, depending on how fast your machine is and how large your photos are. This might take a few seconds to a few minutes, um, but once that is done, it has already created the mask with the sky. Now, uh, these night storm clouds and sunset all are remain the same. There's still some skies in there, but we have this OcuDrone, which has some new skies. So, Let's go ahead and scroll down. You can see we've got Ocudron Blue Velvet, Blustery Blue, Cotton Candy, Majestic Blue, Marshmallow Moody Blue, Seriously Stormy, Tropical Sunrise, Sunset, um, and this one, which I can't see what it says because it's cut off. So a lot of different options here, a lot of different skies. They added a bunch of different skies. If this is a technology that you used before, you're going to love having all of these new skies. So on this photo, we can try a few different things. Um, this was taken at sunrise. So we can try like, we'll try tropical sunrise. This is definitely not tropical, um, but we'll try and look at some of the skies and see how they look. So you can scroll through here and find one that matches your photo and you can go with it. So find one that matches your photo, good. I don't wanna spend a ton of time just looking at different skies here. Um, but we'll select that one for now. And then you've got the same options as before. I've actually created another YouTube video um, a little while back covering how to use the SkySwap technology that I'll link here for you guys to check out. But I mostly just wanted to touch on the fact that there is new skies uh, and there is some pretty cool ones. So it is worth checking out and looking at those new skies if SkySwap AI is a feature that you've used. Now, another one of the new features here in On One Photo Raw 2023 is the ability to use what's called AI presets. Now, these are special presets that are adapted to your photo via AI technology, and you can find those up here in your presets. If you don't see this, click on this button down here. It'll bring your presets open. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, and you can see there's all different kinds of presets for sky, studio portraits, outdoor portraits, planes and cars, landscape, food, architecture, and bird and wildlife. I'm going to do landscape because this is a landscape photo. Now there's a few different options. You can hover to see each one, um, and there's not a lot of options yet. I do wonder if On One will be adding more in the future. I suspect that they probably will, but I'm not 100% positive about that. So you can scroll around until you find one that you like. And then once you find one that you like, all you're gonna do is simply click on it and you can double click. That is going to basically apply it. Now that little fade slider that came up, you can bring that down if you wanna reduce um, how intense that preset is. But these are really, really great ways to start on your photo because now that I have this here, I can actually scroll over to effects and I can see the effects that this is applying to my photo. Now these are applying effects um, that I can adjust and this is what makes up the desert glow. So if I decided I didn't like what sky was doing, that's fine. And maybe I like the glow and I like the ground, but maybe I want to go see what this ground layer is doing. Maybe I want to increase the saturation a little bit more. So these presets are fully customizable. Of course you can just click and be done, but you can also select uh, and then go in and make some adjustments, which is what I really like to do if I'm basing things off of a preset. So this is a really cool feature to have all of these different adaptive presets to use. There's tons of different good ones in here that I've tried and played around with. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for checking out this week's video. Really hope it was helpful for you guys and you guys will be able to get some good use out of this software. Like I said, the AI technology is just pretty incredible in this software. Again, if you guys are gonna pick up this software, please use the link down below in the description uh, and feel free to let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and we will see you guys next time.